Let me speak with you. Uh, you? Yes. Certainly want to take you away. And uh, from there, joining wrong people, it won't be a solution. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Eh? I know. There are some wrong people around you. Yes, yes, did. They want to take you away. Yes. Huh? Yes, did. I'll see you be taken away from there. There's going to be a very serious attack. Where's your wife? She starts late. Call your wife. Favor. <coughs> There's a spirit that can make you to lose the church. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes, I know. And this will be coming from friends. Are you aware of what I'm telling your husband? I didn't hear you, did you? I, I see a wrong spirit here. When I was praying here, I saw a spirit of confusion in your husband. Yes, did. Huh? Yes, I know. You know? Yes. And there are some people that they want to use to take him away. To lose the grief. He's very close to breakthrough. Yes. Okay. Yeah? But these people here, they will take you away, you lose the grace of God. From there you will lose the church. I was not away. You are not away. I'm seeing you, you will lose the church, you will move from Elance Fontaine, you will go to Jamestown. I'm seeing Jamestown in the shakes here. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yes, yeah. we are hearing you, Dad. I'm seeing you losing the chair. You go to here. From here to here. And this is the beginning of suffering. Okay. You hear what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes. Dad. And God place you there with a purpose. Amen. Yes, sir. Because there's a mind of moving out from there. Amen. Let me pray for you. Jesus' name. of such a Jesus you are free sir can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today whether to be true or not okay. uh, my name is uh, Apostle Laibon Trobagari uh, uh, the prophecy is true because Apostle said there is a uh, wrong people around me, yeah. and uh, that that thing is affecting the ministry. So it's true. Yeah. And he spoke about the issue of you moving from one place to another, and you moving from this place to another will cause you to to have to to go yeah. back to zero or to go back to poverty. Were you aware of that? Yeah, it was uh, just a waste of direction because uh, there is a fight in my ministry. That is why I say it's a confirmation of direction. And he said, um, God has called you there for a purpose. Um, with you being in that ministry for, for the years that you've been through, uh, can you confirm this, whether to be true or not? Yeah, it's true because it's the only ministry who's doing deliverance. Now, pastors are fighting against me. Yeah, that's why I can say it's true. In. And today, by the love of God, he has shown you through his uh, apostle and he has given you direction. How are you feeling about the message that you got today? I'm feeling happy mm -hmm. and I got the direction. I have the grace. Hallelujah. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for life. What of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I believe that today God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, what, what I can say, pastors, we need direction to do the will of God, come and experience the power of God. I saw a lady there, I'm, I'm very much worried. There's an object there in your stomach. This thing is going to end up killing you. You. 
this thing, yeah, yeah. This thing will end up killing you. Huh? Are you hearing me? Yes. You are feeling something here. Even now. Even now. Yeah, this side. Huh? Yes, this side. Because it's going up and down. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this thing has affected your menstruation. Huh? Yes, because at the clinic they told me that I'm more risking a miscarriage. Come here. This thing has been moving for a long time. I'm, I'm just surprised you're saying you're pregnant. I'm surprised, but this thing here. Because it used to block your menstruation. Huh? Yes. You find it comes on a time that you're not expecting it. Yes. yes. So listen, today I'm going to pray for you. And God is going to help you. Amen. You know me? Yes. Because sometimes it goes down. Yes. Huh? Yes. Goes down like it wants to close your private. Yes. Huh? Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out! You dirty spirit. stomach. Demon! Out! Come out! The name of out! She's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> On the right hand side here. Can you come here? We need to pray. We need to pray for your feet. Yes. Huh? Yes. These feet are beginning to give you problems. Yes. Huh? Yes. You know the cause? I don't know. It's from your heart. Eh? Your heart is becoming heavy, heavy, heavy. Yes. So that's why you feel very tired. Yes. If I pray for you, these feet will never give you problem again. Yes, dear. Jesus! 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 
You are free in the name of Jesus. So the power of stroke is defeated. Thank you. Mama, I want to pray for you. Come here. I want to pray. Where are your children? At home. Huh? At home. We need to pray for you. Yes. There's a spirit yes. that, that is attack your children. It's true. Are you hearing me? It's true. There's a spirit of alcohol. It's true. That is running around the house. It's true. And now you, because of this, what your children are doing, you're starting to be affected. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Your feet here yes, are true. starting to be very painful. Too so much. don't worry, I'll pray for you. And even your children, I pray that they must stop these things that they're doing. Yes. Are you hearing me? No. set you free in Jesus name can you pray for it because you know you mama there's a spirit of Sangomas yes huh? yes yes there's a spirit of Sangomas that is is following you even now yes huh? yes yes prophet yeah it's the spirit is really make you to suffer okay are you hearing me yes yes sir. lift her up Hallelujah. Let me just stand up, brother. <coughs> the whole family, in your family, there is poverty. Oh, yeah, it's too much. It's and, uh, and this has troubled you because you have been praying against poverty. Amen. Eh? It's Amen. a generational curse. Amen. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's all true. It's true. Even when you start something, it just goes down. Just like that. And even now. It's too much problem. Eh? Too much problem. Too much problem. Yes. I would like started like the ministry, people are coming and going and every day there is it's poverty, it's poverty and, and bad dreams were eating every day and my wife is there. Please. It's a generational care. You people, you are poor people. No. What do I do to him? Uh, uh, huh? I don't want this man. You don't want him to do it? I don't want him to prosper. You don't want him to prosper? I don't want him to do Why ministry. do you attack the whole family? Well, I don't want them to have to be anyway. Huh? I want them to be poor. You want them to be poor? Yes. So, did he tell you where, he's, he's, where he is now? No. Huh? No. So why were you hindering him all the time? Huh? Why were you hindering not to come here? You demon of poverty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Leave it. Huh? Come on. Leave this man. Huh? Leave him. So who are you? Who are you? Speak up. You demon of the family. Who are you? No, no, no. Okay. Huh? Come on, who are you? I'm the spirit of the family. Spirit of the family? Yes. In Jesus' name. You live in. You're free. So. Can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? All right. Thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Pastor Wisdom. I'm from Melville. 
Yeah, so I confirm this prophecy to be true about my life because uh, the way Apostle said, you know, it is true because things were stuck. Mm. But nothing was moving. Mm. I was trying to wonder, everything I started, this prophecy, it's not for the third time I think hearing the same thing about the generation case. So I'm so happy today to receive my deliverance. I believe that God is working in my life. There's a new thing which is coming. So I'm so excited. I thank God for, you know, for this deliverance. Thank you so much. As a servant of God, you stand in the pulpit and declare uh, 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 progress. You declare uh, prosperity to other people. Why you yourself, things are not working out. How did it affect you? I believe uh, maybe it went to a point where you did ask yourself, are you really called? Because many pastors, they would say, they would ask themselves, are you really called? On your situation, what is really happening? Um, according to this thing, you know, it affected me so much, even my prayer life, you know, it went down because all the time I had these uh, attacks and all these things that we are praying and nothing is happening. So you come to the point where but, I mean, I'm not called, maybe I'm not called for this, but you know, you come to your, you know, sense and say, no, 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 I have to, you know, stick to this thing. So I've been sticking, thing, praying every day and believing God for a deliverance. I was believing, believing God for this day. Amen. How are you feeling today after your deliverance? Uh, today, I can't have got so much joy in my heart, you know. Yeah, to be set free, I'm so, so glad for this day, you know. I, I'm so glad, so happy. Amen. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Brother, when I'm praying with that lady, I heard that I must also pray for you. Oh, you okay. hear me? Okay. Because you're still suffering from the life of the past. Yeah. It's like sometimes you feel like you can go away from God because there's no change. Yes. But I want to tell you, God, God is looking at you like this. He's searching for your faithfulness. Remember how you used to live, going to Sangomas, sacrificing chickens and what what. That's why when I was there, I want to close with you. Okay. So this case of your life is broken. And believe God that God will give you a nice job. Oh, you hear me? Because you, this thing is moving here. Yes, huh? yeah. Moving here. It's like they're using this thing to monitor your life. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So now I'll pray for you, and God will help you. Is a police. I'm supposed to be a police officer. You're supposed twice. to be a police. Yeah, twice. And what happened? <laughs> Actually, I don't know what happened because when I was uh, I was in a process of training, I started to sick. Then I went home. When I went home, when you're supposed to work as a police, you became sick. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm. It's a story. And the. Uh, even another company, they call it Daimler Chrysler. I went for interview, I passed some tests, doctors checked me. From there after, when I supposed to start again. You see? And even football, I supposed to be a professional footballer twice. But again. They... Remember the chicken? Yes. Huh? Remember the chicken? So the chicken is the one, the, that blood of chicken is the one that is doing this. So, but don't worry. Today is making the new, your, your, your new life is here. Amen. Oh, you know Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's your church? It is finished, man. It's finished. It's dead, yeah. After my divorce. Sit down. Sit down. You don't need to give up. You understand? 
Yes. Huh? Amen. You, need to, you don't need to give up. Amen. Do you want to marry again? Yes. Who? I don't know. You must come to Charlie's and marry. You must know that there are some people that, you know, when they say things are not working, they will leave you. You must know that. They will start with you. When your graph goes down, they will come to you because of money. Marriage, you know, if you want a real wife, you must never tell the wife where you are working, the, the investment, things about your family. You hear me? Uh, that's how Satan works. The wrong people will come. When they find you don't have anything, Understand? So, the way it has happened is painful. So, that's why I say I want him to come and marry him. I ask him where is his wife? He says he has been divorced. Uh, but the way it has happened is a very painful thing. That's why I say, Come here and marry here. I will help you. I will help you to find the right wife who will support you in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Because when I touch this man, I hear people laughing. When I touch him, I hear people laughing in a very sh sh who will silence them. for you. Where is your sister? Huh? She's in Midrand. She's in Midrand? Yes. We need to pray for all of you. Okay. We need to cut this case, huh? Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Donny, who's Donny? Sorry? Donny. I don't know. You don't know anyone, the name that started with D? No. Huh? You don't know Donny? No, I can't remember. You can't remember? Here you go. <laughs> Where is your phone? My phone? Yeah. It's in my go bed. and check on your phone. Your type there, you'll find it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell everybody, say neighbor. neighbor. This week, this week. is going to be a good week for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They said 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes is finished. Uh, 10 minutes is finished. Did you find it? It's Denny. Denny? Denny, yes. Give glory to God. But she says she's got me. Bring that, bring, bring her here, bring her here. I, she said she doesn't know. I said, go and check your phone. Uh, you people, when we speak with you, can you calm down? Sometimes you find the heart is beating twice. You don't even, you, you, for, you forget your life. Hallelujah. Can I pray for that brother we close? You, yes. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Sister, I'm, I'm breaking this case. Huh? Yes, I'm ma'am. praying for you today. I'm breaking this case. Okay. Go and tell your sister that the case is broken. So okay. marriage is very close. <laughs> marriage is close. In Jesus' name. Marriage is close, sister. Very close. 